If you've driven past Victoria General Hospital lately, you've probably noticed construction on Janice Place is well underway. In fact, the project is nearly half complete. When it opens next year, the home will be a place for out-of-town families to stay when their children need medical care in Victoria. Astor Brownschmidt takes us on a behind-the-scenes tour. Construction of Janice Place is approaching the halfway mark. As Angie Edroff tours me through... They're going to start tomorrow, I think, for the windows here and here. It's hard to believe just four months ago, her daughter Janice took the charge at the official groundbreaking. When it opens in January, Janice Place will be a home away from home for families who have to travel to Victoria for pediatric medical care. We anticipate 600 families a year are going to come and stay at Janice Place. That's a lot of families. That's like 2,400 people a year will be using this home. Janice is away at camp this week, but her mom is keeping tabs on the project. It's really neat to come by every couple of days and find that there's something vastly different than the last time we were here. The four and a half million dollar build is made possible thanks to the generous support of the community. The Queen Alexandra Foundation says many of the tradespeople are volunteering their time to see Janice's dream become a reality. Drew West Construction Management, the construction managers have donated all their time, which is worth over $100,000. But the support goes on. Suppliers have donated many materials, leaving a little extra for the design and concept. We didn't want to have the suites to have their own little kitchenette in it because you're forced to come into the kitchen to eat. And when you have a lot of people at the table, you start learning that you're not alone in what you're dealing with. Last week, the Edroffs met with the interior designers to choose colors. The the process of building the house has been all-consuming. Angie says focusing on this project has helped Janice to keep her mind off the many health challenges she's faced over the last year. Having things to do with the house has taken her mind off some of her pain issues and dealing with the thought that she might have cancer. Six weeks ago, Janice underwent the second of two surgeries, which was supposed to remove her kidney. Instead, three tumors were removed. The results from the tumors came back as that they were changing and becoming malignant, but they hadn't quite made it that far. But that hasn't stopped Janice and her family from pushing forward with her dream. It's also given her strength and courage, not only for this project, but I think she's starting to think about what am I going to do next. We can't wait to see. Janice Place is scheduled to open January 20th on Janice's 18th birthday. In view Royal, Astrid Brownschmidt, A News. The Queen Alexander Foundation is about $350,000 shy of meeting its fundraising goal for Janice Place. And there are many ways you can help. The Big Car Picnic takes place Sunday, August 21st from 10 till 2. It will be held at the QA grounds. This year, the proceeds go to Janice Place. You can get more information and also make a donation online at queenalexandra.org.